Hey friends, welcome back to our second art journaling lesson. Last week we talked about base coats and this week we're gonna add doodles and color on top with a variety of different utensils. I love to doodle things that are inspiring me. So quotes, song lyrics, things I'm reading. I love to capture those moments in my journal. So here, bloom a beautiful process of becoming. I saw a friend share this on an Instagram post and I loved it and I didn't want to forget it. So I doodled it into my book. Something else, a song lyric that is speaking to you, you can try to capture that lyric and just writing it down. When all the virus stuff broke out and schools had to modify and change, I, this was something that was speaking out to me, positive thinking, because it's easy to have negative thoughts, but I wanna have beautiful, positive thoughts in my mind as much as possible, because then that comes out in my actions. You can add a quote that stands out to you. I feel that there is nothing more truly artistic to, can't read upside down. <laughs> I feel that there is nothing more truly artistic than to love people by Vincent van Gogh. I love that quote because art is a process and you know, loving people is a process as well. I hope as you doodle, you will capture words that are standing out to you, things you're reading, and you'll capture it in your book. Don't worry about your font. Um, I would say I don't like my font, and sometimes I do it really thin, and I go back over some words thicker. That is one technique to try to um, work on your font, is to start small and go thicker. There's also lots of amazing hand lettering artists on Instagram and YouTube. Stefan Kuhn's is one of my favorites. Favorites. You can quickly watch some videos of other instructors, artists, and be inspired by their different techniques. My encouragement to you is to just enjoy it for the process. Like anything else, this book is something that's just for you. And you can create and not have the pressure of hanging this in your house, showing it to anyone. This is just a way to get your thoughts out and keep your hands busy and creating. One technique to start on a page is to look at your blank pages and to see what inspires you. So you can look at the way the paint moved and add to it and just kind of add details to the movement. I kind of see a flower here in the way that I was swirling my paint. So I'm going to add more details and markers and pencils to make this look more like a flower. Other times you might look at your paint technique on your base coat and it might inspire you to continue to add to it or just to completely cover it up with something else. Those are two ways that you can look at your base coat and add doodles on top. So I'm going to begin by just adding some more color into my pages. I like what I started here with some of my paint swirls. So I'm just going to doodle around it with a paint marker. So I would start with um, a bigger tool like this that can get paint on it quickly and come back with some smaller pens or color pencils and do some more details. Right now I'm trying to follow the movement of my paint lines and just add more detail in and around them. But I'm using that base coat just to add more details to what I'm creating now. It's okay if it smears a little bit. Remember, you're enjoying it for the process. This is something you can easily do as you watch a movie with your family, listen to church online, hang out with your kids. You also get to, you're still playing. So you can see the green doesn't show up a lot here. So I'm gonna switch it out and get something darker. I like the paint markers, but I kinda wanna play with different tools. So I'm gonna pull out some pastels here just to get more different textures on it. So here I did green on the inside of that petal. On this one, I'm gonna just outline it and I'm gonna to switch tools to something else. <laughs> I 
One thing I love about doing your art journal laying with doodles is you can pick different colors. So you might not normally see a purple leaf coming off a flower, but what a fun place to play and make it your own by allowing yourself the freedom to do that in your art journal. Now that I have some big color on there, I'm gonna come back with some smaller pens and add more details into my flower. But as you can see, that base coat got me started, but now with the doodling on top, it's a little bit more obvious that I've created a flower. I think I'm done with doodles for this page for now. I added some yellow paint stick around it to kind of help that flower pop a little bit more because it was starting to look a little busy. But again, it's just for the process for fun. I'm done with it for now. I'll probably come back and add more to it when we're doing some collaging. One thing I love about art journaling is that your pages never have to be fully complete. You can always be adding to them. Some of my pages have four or five different layers between base coats, painting, doodling, collaging. They're fun to always be looking at and seeing how you can change it and add to it. So this page isn't done, but it's done for now with my doodles. I'm gonna create now on the other page. And as I look at it, these fork paint marks kind of look like rain coming down to me, which is really appropriate now that it's spring. And one thing that happens in the spring is it rains and rain brings growth. And that's some, a quote, some words that I've been processing a lot right now. So I want to capture that by doodling out the words rain brains growth and turning these paint marks into little looking a little bit more like rain. One thing you can do with your washable markers is dip a Q-tip or paintbrush in some water and kind of quickly go over it and it kind of spreads out your paint a little bit to make it look a little bit more watercolory, which is fun to play with. And you can see the marker is now spreading a little bit. It's fun if you are okay getting rid of those harsh lines of your doodles. It's a fun way to kind of just play with your markers and see what happens. So my water dripped down a little bit onto my word rain, which seems kind of appropriate for what rain can do. Rain, I think of storms and storm spring rain. And right now with this coronavirus, it feels a lot like a storm, which um, this quote, rain brings growth. We know with storms, the rain waters our earth, waters the grass and good things grow from it. Just helps me remember to stay on focus and try to grow in the areas of things that I can control. The way I love people, the things I do with my time. So just get to work guys. I hope you have fun doodling in your art journals, on your paper. I would love to see what you're creating. Please take a picture, share it with us so we can inspire one another. We'll be back next week with another art journaling lesson.